friends, my name is Miranda. This is my <laughs> cat. Hi, dog. Wow, yeah. this is just, I am the new Dr. Doolittle. This is my job. I think you should leave. What's this? What's this? Just a tail and frame now, flicking up. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> What's up friends? I am Miranda. This is Miranda in the wild. And in this video, I am going to be bike commuting for 21 days. Let's do it. <laughs> this is my show, gosh darn. Cannondale challenged me to see if I could replace my car with an electric bike. I've decided that what I'm gonna do is take 21 days to ride this electric bike everywhere within 10 miles of my house for any errands that I have to do. Why 10 miles? I live in an area where the vast majority of my errands and of my like daily commuting stuff happens within a 10 mile radius. While I don't commute to work because I work from home, I do frequently commute to the gym, to the grocery, store to see my friends. So what I want to do is see if I can replace all like my driving all those different places with riding the bike. With an electric bike I'm imagining that it'll be a lot easier to do this because it's electric. Oogie, oogie, oogie. So as far as like the biking aspect goes I'm expecting it to be easy. I mean it's an electric bike like how hard can it possibly be? My bike seat actually lowered while I was going up the hill. So I'm having some concerns. I've already gotten lost multiple times. Ah uh, yes, that was a disaster. 10 miles is still pretty far. My bike chain popped off. I feel like I've cursed myself by saying that. <laughs> like it's gonna be hard. Um, hold on, let me just show you my bike. Boom, this is my bike. So we have this little computer thing on here. It'll tell you how many miles per hour you're going. You can press this plus button and it'll go through the different modes of the like pedal assist. This is just off. And then we have eco mode, which is just like a little bit of boost and then tour, sport, and then finally turbo. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, but that'll also drain the battery really like quickly. So I imagine I'm gonna try and like ride with an eco or off as much as possible and only pop into turbo when things start to get a little dicey. This is the, where you plug in the bike. Boom, this is the battery. Light on the back seat that looks cushy. For bike commuting, do you have to wear diaper shorts? I do have diaper shorts because I'm a baby. <laughs> I meant like, you know, like a butt baby. Oh God, this is getting so weird. I don't have the butt endurance that a lot of cyclists do. Cool, 21 days of bike commuting. Let's go! Fully prepared to fail at this. I'll probably cheat, okay? I'll tell you if I cheat, but I'm already anticipating biking at night and being like, no. So, just a heads up. Okay, so here is what I got at REI. So I got this bike bag of light, a essentials tool kit, and I also got a tube. Yeah, I think I should be all set for uh, tomorrow when I am like commuting to a friend's house at night. One thing that I was kind of surprised by is the fact that even though it's an electric bike, it's not like a motorcycle or a moped. Like I still have to put in work, which part of me was kind of hoping I wouldn't. Part of me was thinking like, oh, it's a bike. I'll just, you know, it's it's, it's electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Meow, meow. Should have plugged this in a lot earlier today, make sure it was fully charged. This is the first time I'll be charging this bike. We have three bars and we're gonna try and get up to five before I leave. Maybe just bring the charger with me. Okay, I'm gonna get myself ready to go. All right, it is 6.45, which is the time that I would have normally left to go to my friend Sunny's house if I was driving. What would have been a 15 minute drive is gonna be about a 45 minute bike ride. And I'm actually having a little bit of anxiety about it, but I have my backpack full of my stuff. I have my bike lock. I have this little bag. What I'm doing is I have my map on my phone going and then I have a, a one headphone in so that it can like talk to me as I'm biking. So I'm hoping that that gets me there safely. We're gonna do this ride and we're off. All right, we made it to a trail. You can see behind me, he kept going, let's go. Three miles, I've already gotten lost multiple times. All right, cool, onward and upward. This ride's getting really cool. I'm having a great time. Just look at this view. Oh, plus I got a, I got a wave from a fellow cyclist. So that was kind of cool. All right, so I finally made it to my friend Sunny's house. Actually, the ride wasn't as bad as I expected. It took me longer than the map said it would because I got lost. So I'm a little more nervous about riding home tonight when it's totally dark, but 
That is a problem for Miranda three hours from now and not Miranda right now. It is 11.15 at night and I'm about to start my bike ride home. I am feeling a little bit nervous about biking all that way. So I actually just called my partner Sky and I know this might be cheating, but I just don't feel totally ready to bike along some of the roadways um, in the dark, like not on a bike path. So I'm gonna get as close to home as possible and then my partner's gonna come pick me up. I can see that I've got my bike kind of decked out. I have my light flashing, I have my headlight, and uh, I'm gonna get my directions going in my ear and head home. What's up friends? So we are approaching the end of week one of my biking everywhere within 10 miles of my house challenge. This past week has been really interesting because I've been riding my bike a lot more than I normally would, but I've also been like intentionally running more errands or going to visit my friends more often than I have in the past. And I think that part of that is that I'm obviously making a video and so I'm like challenging myself to do this. But another part of it is that it's been a beautiful week and like riding my bike around has just kind of like given me life and appreciation for my local neighborhood and everything. It's been a lot of fun to like bike to my coffee shop, to bike to the grocery store, to the fabric store to buy some fabric. And all of that has just been like a fun way to kind of incorporate this challenge into getting outside on my bike. So I'm now officially a third of the way done with the challenge. And I think that the biggest thing that I've learned about this is that riding electric bike is still a workout. Like it's still really hard work. I just have the opportunity to like make a decision about how hard it is. You know, the bike has this pedal assist, like electric thing that kicks in and helps you in your biking. And so on times that I'm going up a hill and I like, I'm having a hard time going up a hill, I can just turn on that pedal assist and make it a lot easier on myself. But if I'm in the mood to like work really hard, I can just keep that at a low level or just totally turn it off. And that wasn't really something I anticipated. I think I was sort of expecting that because it was an electric bike, it would just be like a different kind of vehicle and that maybe I would just, find it like a hassle of being on a bike instead of in a car. But because it does have an element of like still working hard and still like getting my heart rate up, but feeling like I can do that in a comfortable range, it's actually been really fun and really cool to, to like do this instead of just driving. I do have kind of some big errands that I have to run for the upcoming weeks. I have to do like a grocery trip. Some of these like bigger trips, I'm interested to see how that will work since all I have on my bike right now is still just that small bike bag on the handlebars and I've just been carrying around a backpack. But yeah, I mean, aside from that, it's been really awesome to do this for this past week. Just feeling pretty psyched to continue this challenge. The weather's been really nice. And so I think that that's adding to how much fun I'm having. <laughs> I was a little hesitant. I was a little skeptical about the whole thing since I'm not a cyclist, but so so far it's been all fun and not really inconvenient in the same way I was expecting. So this is the end of day seven and the end of week one of my 21 days of bike commuting everywhere challenge. I'm psyched for weeks two and three. So I just got to the grocery store and I realized that I forgot my bike lock. I think I have forgotten my bike lock more times than I've remembered my bike lock in these past 11 days. That's been the hardest thing, is remembering to bring something to lock my bike up with. I guess I'm just gonna go grocery shopping with my bike. I don't like that. Um, cyclists who remember bike locks, how the fudge do you do that? Cause it's flipping hard. So it is a rainy Friday here in the Pacific Northwest and I'm headed to my favorite coffee shop to do some work with my producer. I was feeling kind of nervous about biking in the rain so I reached out to Cannondale because my thought was, oh, this bike is electric, does that mean that it's not waterproof? And um, they confirmed that as long as I didn't like throw it into a lake or something that it would be fine. Beyond just my like general nervousness about biking in the rain, yeah, the bike is perfectly fine. It's just me that's scared. Yeah, this is one of those hills where I used to bike up it whenever I was taking the shuttle to work, but I hated biking it. All right, here it is. Big hill. Almost to the top. Right. That was it. That was not nearly as bad as I was expecting it to be. Dang, if I was biking into an office, that was the most work I had to put in. I could have worn like nice office clothes and not broken a sweat on this bike, which is so cool. It's 
So I just got to my favorite coffee shop where I'm meeting my producer to do some work today. Uh, the ride here wasn't too bad. I definitely was like a little nervous riding in the street with a bunch of cars after it had just rained, but this bike did really well. I think that's probably because it has such big tires. All in all, the ride was pretty easy. <laughs> had one of the more frustrating bike commuting moments that I've had in this entire process. I was going to the grocery store and I locked my bike up and then went, after I finished I went across the street to pick up some non-alcoholic beer and there was no bike lock like no place to lock up a bike anywhere in this entire like long block and so I started to like walk my bike into this like beverage store, which like, I realized is a really bad idea. Obviously there's a bunch of like glass bottles, but the guy at the front was like, you can't have that in there. You have to leave it outside. And I was like, well, I can't leave it outside. Like there's no bike rack. There's no place to lock my bike. I checked the entire block. And he was like, well, you can leave it outside or you can like not come in. Like you don't have an option. And I was like, can I lock it up where the carts are? And he was like, no, you can't lock your bike there. And then he was like, well, just leave it outside and I'll keep an eye on it. I was like baffled by that. I was like, I, I can't just leave my bike outside. We eventually like settled on me, like leaving my bike at the front. And even then it was like, I, I left my bike there for like a second. Cause I was like, I can't just like leave this very expensive e-bike full of groceries with this guy who's like, I'll probably, I'll keep an eye on it. No one's going to take it. But there are all these amenities and these things that we need as cyclists and a lot of places just aren't set up for that. And they should be! This bike commuting is super fun. I wonder if I could like write a letter to my city council and like ask to install a bike rack there. Okay, that's all. I was just feeling cranky. I have my bike lock. I have my keys. I have the keys to my bike lock. I have my wallet. I have my bag. Crab apples. Got one. What's that? Uh, behind the bus and the construction car. Flowers, Maggie. Oh, I can't smell. Goodbye, apartment complex. Flowers. <gasps> So uh, I'm gonna head over to my favorite Thai restaurant to pick up some lunch. So this is an interesting predicament. The chain popped off my bike and I'm struggling to get it back on and trying to figure out the best way to do this. I'm on a really busy street corner in Bellevue. This is tough. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. grimy and grubby. There's a bunch of cars, but we can't get out. So I just picked up my food and I managed to fit it perfectly into the pannier on my bike, which is very exciting. So you can see, it just slides right in there so perfectly. I have a like five mile ride home, so I'm gonna try and stay on smooth roads and sidewalks so I don't spill anything. That bike. Um, delicious vegan fiber. Yum, 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 yum. What's up everybody? I am having a really hard time focusing on work right now. So I contacted a friend of mine who lives like 10 miles from here and we're gonna meet at a little coffee shop in Issaquah just to like do some co-working and kind of hang out. I feel like if there's anything that I've learned from this challenge, it is one, that as someone who works from home, I don't use coffee shops often enough, and two, bike commuting to a coffee shop is like the most hipster thing I can do, and I love it. Great, all right, getting on the bike, bye. Mm -hmm.
say hello. Hello. <laughs> So I just got home from the coffee shop where I hung out with my friend Mel. On my phone, it said it was gonna take me 57 minutes and instead it only took me 35 because I just put that bike in turbo mode and just turboed all the way home. Also, it just really hit me when I was on the bike ride home that tomorrow is my last day of bike commuting. That'll be my 21th, wait, that'll be my 21st day and I'm done with this challenge. And I kind of didn't even really realize it and now I'm feeling a little bit of sadness that it is over because I've really enjoyed it. What's up friends and happy 21 <laughs> God <laughs> you doing that. Today is the last day of my three week bike commuting challenge. When I first started this challenge, I would consider myself to be a very casual cyclist, someone who viewed cycling as a leisure activity and occasionally something for exercise. Back at the beginning of these three weeks, I was really nervous to ride in the streets. On your right. No biking on the sidewalk is kind of a no, but maybe it's all cut up. I didn't really know too much about bikeability in my city. I missed my turn. And still the hardest part of bike commuting is navigating. And now, three weeks later, and especially in this last week, I have realized how much more comfortable I am biking in the roads. You get the road, Miranda. You can do it. I'm much more aware of how to get places. Oh, wait, I know where I am. I have researched bikeability in my city. I am now gonna try and find a place to request a bike rack. I know where all the racks are to lock up my bike. I'm just like much more involved in kind of the cycling commuting community. I mean, to some extent, it's still only been 21 days, so I'm not at all like inserting myself into people who bike commute everywhere. I think the other thing that I realized with all of this is just how privileged I am to one, have access to an e-bike. Thank you to Cannondale for letting me borrow this one. And two, like how bike accessible the city is where I live. The shine so bright. I also recognize that it's a huge privilege to get to choose to bike commute everywhere for 21 days versus having to ride a bike. At any point, I could have just chosen to get in my car and say like, this challenge, I'm just gonna drive my car somewhere. But I didn't, maybe like once or twice I did. That's it though. So I just have learned so much more. I'm way more confident uh, as a cyclist and I'm a lot more aware of alternative forms of transportation. One thing I didn't expect is that bike commuting requires so much awareness in a time where I don't actually have to commute to an office. It's so easy for me to just like put on blinders and stare at a computer and like lock myself off when I'm working. Bike commuting somewhere required me to like literally pick my head up and look at my surroundings and be really aware. I think that this whole challenge has made me a much more, like a much more conscientious commuter. Even in a car now, I find myself looking out for bike lanes, paying attention to cyclists, seeing how accessible a certain area is, looking for bike racks, and just in general being a lot more aware of the alter alternative forms of transportation that exist in my city besides just driving a car around. If you are a bike commuter, I just wanna say that I have a lot of respect for you after these 21 days. If you have any tips for me on how to continue bike commuting, uh, or if you've never tried an e-bike before, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. This is my last day of bike commuting, and yes, I am gonna be biking somewhere. I'm meeting up with my friend Elena at a coffee shop. Yeah, if I don't leave now, I'll be late. I think that's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the REI channel, and I will see you all in the wild. Bye. How handsome is this handsome man? Oh, you two, don't fight. No fighting, okay? You just go sit there, you just stay here. What's up, friends? I am Miranda. This is Miranda in the wild. There's no way anyone will be <laughs> listening to a word you say. The cat is staring into the lens like, I feel judged somehow. This is going it. crazy. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs>